I don't want to see let me drill oil and destroy the planet if I want to because the sky looks better in red than blue because own lips. What's up, everybody? You are listening to another episode of Deviants Welcome. I am your host, John, and with me, as always, my co-host, Cell. Say hi to the people, Cell. Hi to the people. Today, we are going to have a discussion, I guess kind of more like a debate, on a topic that is rampant these days. And it's, it's can you separate sociology from politics? No. <laughs> can you deal with a sociological topic or or any topic really like can can you converse without making it political no does it have to be political every single time you bring something up like every discussion at all does it always have to relate back to politics well not every discussion at all but any discussion that involves sociological analysis yes okay so clearly <laughs> Sell, you are in favor of yes, you can absolutely separate the two. <laughs> why don't uh, why don't you go ahead and kick us off here? Why why can we not separate sociology from politics? Okay. So the first thing to kind of keep in mind about this stuff is that everything that sociology is discussing discussing. Discussing. Yeah, discussing. I like that uh, better. <laughs> <laughs> discussing. Um <laughs> Everything that it's discussing has um, some component of <laughs> politics to it. Whether, everything? Everything. Everything. Li- I mean, like, look, in terms of the, the, the topics that sociology itself covers, right? Like, we're talking uh, the traditional focuses of sociology include, from Wikipedia. <laughs> I gotta know, wait, so, wait, wait, where, where is the impression? What is the impression? Uh, who are you impersonating? I don't know who I'm impersonating there okay. on that one, honestly. Right, we're just, we're just random that, just, dullard. Yeah, random gotcha. dollar right. doing the fucking... Random dullard, go. Okay. <laughs> Traditional focuses of sociology include social stratification, social class, social mobility, religion, secularization, law, sexuality, and gender, and deviance. Okay. Like, there is deviance. a political... Yes. So, we're talking about in terms of analyzing deviance society. Welcome. Right. Uh, <laughs> in terms of analyzing society, like, every single one of those things are interrelated to each other. And all kind of exist within the same conditions with each other. Anything that you're doing that separates those from politics is being done so clearly or, or, or is, is being done so completely on an abstract level, right? It's trying to create an abstraction from another thing that exists in the world. And for us to be able to say that these are two things two separate things, right? Mm-hmm. You're talking about two separate things, be- but you're ultimately still talking about one thing when you're actually analyzing things within the conditions that they're in okay but here's here's my thing okay a politics is older by far sure right (laughs) sociology sociology is still relatively new sure um in in terms of the sciences but political science is obviously older but it is my understanding that sociology kind of encapsulates it's it's bigger than politics because it, sociology, yes. it, 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 it looks at society, both structured and unstructured. Sure. So in order to have, I mean, it, politics is a means of structure, sure. right? It's a means of organization. Right. But if you have an unstructured society, say like, I don't know, some like a, like a, a tribal type of society, which has, which has a hierarchy, right? But not necessarily a political system or or even so far as to go, um, you know, more animalistic where you have like nomads and things like, you know, people like that who live off the grid don't necessarily like they're not pack animals. They're not in tribes, so to speak, but they have more of like an understanding. I'm, I'm kind of likening it to the animal kingdom, right, where we're, we're taking if we wanted to. Re- Related to sociology, it's humanity in its primal form, right? Okay, right. There is no actual like communication, so to speak, okay. about organization. So it's just the type of thing where if like you're a shark in the ocean, right? There are other sharks in the ocean. Uh-huh. So yes, you are part of a society, so to speak. But right. there's no 
political system there to guide you and and the only understandings that are like mutually understood are that the bigger thing is going to kill you if you fuck with its food sure right okay but even that's not necessarily discussed because there are still dumb animals that try to take the bigger shark's food and end up dying for it okay so the thing with that is that what you're kind of looking at is you're kind of looking at what is called in uh, in a lot of circles the the natural man fallacy, right? It has that's related to ooh, he's got me on Hobbes fallacy right out the gate and Leviathan, right? Where somebody they were, did his homework. Uh, with, with, Hobbes and Leviathan, Let's right? Go. Okay, right. So you have the the old school liberal tradition where like liberalism is forming, right? And one of the things that they're doing is they're talking about and and, and I mean like. Big L liberalism, not like just Democrats, right? I mean, like the whole scope of like the American project. I need you to present your conclusion first. Okay. <laughs> and then build backwards. Okay. okay. You, you can't, the, you can't the, slow walk me through this. Okay. The conclusion first is why, the, why does, why does my point not matter? Because what is this fallacy? Because, because natural man as, ex, as described by writers like Hobbes never actually existed, Right. We've always been a communal species. That's came, what we've done. That we've still been a communal species, right? And because mm. and now, now that is where the sociology is bigger than politics, right? And you're right on that point, right? Is that we've always been a communal species, but the natural, the, the natural man fallacy presents it kind of like as the, the, um, lone hunter by himself out right. in the wild right, right. and 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 the caveman not, who hasn't joined a tribe yet right kind of thing right and and that's not to say that that has um never been the case but that case is usually from somebody who's been exiled or they're being punished for for be, to be that yeah. way right um i mean i, I got to believe there were plenty of nomadic you, cavemen you, you still have some kind of structure to the society I, you use the word unstructured and and while there is definitely a level of structure that's greater in a in a post political society, there's still structure in a pre political society, and and when we're thinking of politics, we're thinking of politics from like uh, some kind of like recorded history era onward, not before that, right? And then what the what the natural man is doing is positing what man was before that, and and before that, man was a communal being that. It, operated in a highly structured society it was just the level of structure hadn't moved on to the point of politics being a necessary mechanism for structuring right so to that point if the question is can you sociology without politics the answer is absolutely unequivocally yes because because it's happened the question is not, does it work? The question <laughs> right. is not, is it efficient? Right. 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 The question is not, is it good for society as a whole? But can it happen? Yes. I mean, okay. So, so right. Right. So if but, we're looking, if we're, if we're doing this pass <laughs> fail, right. Can it happen? Yes. No, because it still fails because it's like the worst and most inefficient way to look at society. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, 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 the question is, can you not? Should you? Can you? I mean, can you? Yes, but uh, yes, if, yes, if, yes, if, yes. If, if, if got him in if, one point, if you're positive, this dude. Oh no, no, no! This dude <laughs> came at me today. I walked in the room, and he's puffing his fucking chest out, and he's swinging his dreads and shit, talking about, "Yo, dude, you are on the losing end of this battle, and you're you're just you're you're doomed to fail." And I came in, and I scrubbed you in one point okay just putting now, it out there following, following you can edit all that in post i just wanted it heard okay. and I'd, I'd like my own recording you could like maybe give it to me on like a picture frame right, right. one of those talking pictures here's frames. the waves here's the wave of, of you getting me yep i'll put it on um, a bracelet they make that too you can get the sound waves on the bracelet oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um <laughs> this is where i owned so, you so owned owned in the sense of yes you can do it in a in a sense in a way of course right yeah but does that work no does absolutely that work? not no um, I feel like it might be able to work, but not likely. It it well, what it, what it ultimately comes down to is that politics itself, as a system, evolves out of societies getting fucking huge. Of course, right. You have to have some sort of norms, right, or or guidelines that everybody follows, laws, right. if you will, laws, right? so that so that everybody feels content, safe, I guess. To to, I I guess the laws are specifically based solely for advancement 
because right. if you're constantly watching your ass to make sure you're not getting killed in the street, right. You don't have time to advance. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So in order to, for society to progress, right. The laws have to protect the, the people so they can think of something other. Yes. Than feeding themselves. Yes. And not getting killed. And at that point you've introduced politics. And at that Absolutely. point you have to keep the conditions of what the political system is creating in mind as far as, as far as the environment that you're analyzing sure sociologically so sure. at that point you've you once once politics has been introduced to the system just by virtue of necessity and the system being so large necessity is a strong word it can work it just very badly just very badly <laughs> but it's not a need it is a want if you want the thing to get better Right. Maybe, maybe a need if you want the thing to get better. Right. But there are plenty of people out there that just want to watch the world burn, right? Right. Well, so it's and, fine for them. And, and, and also we've had history of basically all of sociology up until one point, whatever, to whatever degree it existed before this point, it was just this is the way things are now and this is the way they'll always be. Right. Right. Um, and, then, and then that changed and then people started looking at things differently because the necessity to look at politics when you're looking at sociology to actually make things work well <laughs> means that you have to that that once you've crossed that threshold there's no going back sure well i don't know about not going back I mean, like, because i still think it's if we're talking in terms of context okay does everything have to be political can you is it possible to take a situation and simply consider morality without um, politics. Like if, if, if we're talking about, you know what the, the elephant in the room for this particular discussion has got to be wearing a mask, right? Okay. Does wearing a mask have to be political? Can it be moral? Can it, can it just be, yo dude, we're, we're all trying to do this thing. Let's just do the thing. Well, okay. or, or can it be, I don't want to because I don't want to. I feel like in that instance, you get a lot of people that are are willing to go political either because they don't have a reason other than politics or that they don't want to admit that there is a reason that is potentially taboo. Like they they want to say, oh, Trump says I don't need to wear a mask instead of saying i don't really give a shit about people that aren't me. So, you know, and, and I, I get why they do that, but I feel like it could be done, right? You can have a blunt, honest com communication with somebody. Sure. To where you can just have that open okay. line of communication. So morality is in and of itself, it's whole other fucking like podcast series, but it is right? part of sociology, <laughs> but it is part of sociology. So brass tacks, Brass tacks, one of the things that we need to understand about morality. Oh, you think you got me on that one, but brass tacks, one of the things that we need to understand about morality is that there are three major schools of normative morality, and basically everybody in the world fits into one of those three. Okay. Uh, aside from maybe sociopaths, right? Okay. Like, okay, so the three schools of morality, of normative moral ethics, right? Right. Um, is value ethics, deontological ethics, and uh, utilitarian or con uh, consequential consequentialist ethics. Okay. Right. What are the, what's the second one? Deontological. And that is? That is the framing of ethics that came out during the growth of the liberalism with the Thomas Hobbes type people that we're talking about, right? It is the, the largest or the second largest school of the ethics, right? But what does it mean? Oh, deontological. Okay. So it does things like posits the existence of, of natural man, like by himself out in nature. Right. And that man has a certain set of rights. Right. Right. Wait, uh, how does he have rights? Because it's, it's the state of nature. It is, he has the right to survive. He has the right to kill. He has the right to do whatever, all these things. Cause he's just a man by himself out in nature. And he has to do what he has to do to survive. And everything that he had, that he can do to survive is a right. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, and then your, your thinkers like Hobbes and John Locke and David Hume and all of these cats, they turn around and say, um, when man brushes up against other men, they both, they, they, or humans come up against other humans in order to, to exist collectively in a group. They 
subsume some of those rights. And of they say that the, that the sub, the subsuming of those rights then go to a politically a, a literally politically elected state, right? Or it's a, it's either elected uh, or yeah. or they take it as a kingdom or something like that, right? Yeah, like they're, as, they're... Soon as, as soon as they start coming together, they start saying, okay, there's certain rights that now become the, the, the purview of the state. And whether it was your old school fucking Roman shit, it, whether it was your old school Egyptian shit, whether it was your old school fucking, or, you know, kind of newer school um, uh, uh, monarchies, mm-hmm. right? Or, or the liberal project that, that came out of that, you're still talking about at a certain point, there's certain rights that the group says the state handles. Right. Okay. Um, so, so that's what deontology is. And it was basically propaganda against monarchy. Okay. Now give me the three again. Value ethics. Okay. Deontological ethics. And? And consequentialist ethics. Okay. Okay. Um, value ethics is, this, is, is something that arises. How does that relate to my question? You need to dumb these down. <laughs> I, I got you, but you're saying a lot of words. Right. You're making okay. this very academic. Okay. I need you to bust it down. Sure, a bit. sure, sure, sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. What are those three schools of thought, and why does that mean that I can't just look at something morale uh, from a morale standpoint rather than political? Okay, because you have three schools of ethics that all have conf- conflicts with each other, and as soon as you've introduced those conflicts and three basically mass popu- mass segments of the population you've introduced politics it has necessarily become a political conversation just from the moral perspective as as you try to navigate that nor- moral space okay right, right right so in order to reconcile those three you have to have a political i have to have a political system. what if i don't give a shit about reconciling those three i can right sure see the point i'm trying to make is i think that I mean, yes, you you can. We've already discussed that it doesn't necessarily work for functioning society, <laughs> but you can do this thing. And that's where I'm looking at it from. The the choice to take everything to a political discussion, right? It it's a choice people make. It like I like I mentioned earlier with uh you know, taking it to politics with sure. the mask wearing over over just being like i i truly just don't give a shit about people just you know being straight up just being who you are and not lying to to assimilate to adapt to you know keep your friends i guess whatever so like your friends don't unfriend you because you don't believe what i believe i mean there when we're talking about something like masks we're talking about a thing where your refusal to give a fuck about other people does put people who care at risk right no right. no and i'm absolutely well, i'm just saying i'm just saying it is a choice to make it political. And in that case, someone is making a choice to say, in, instead of saying what is, uh-huh. they're deflecting. Sure. Right. And they would say, oh, political. But why wouldn't well, you just, what, if, if you feel that way, if you feel strongly enough about something to act a certain way, why wouldn't you say the same thing? Like, it makes no sense. If you're, if you're, comfortable enough with the action why wouldn't you back it up with what you're saying why would you deflect it with something else i'm i'm not sure what you mean by that can you really spell out slowly what you mean by that yes <laughs> <laughs> let me try this again focus my point a little more because i'm going to be honest the the, the the elephant in the room wasn't the mask to me like no, to me that's a foregone conclusion it? wear your fucking mask right that's that's the right conclusion absolutely because, but i was talking about because, it in terms of the, the sure one of the bigger debates going on sure. amongst I get it. The whole get it. of everybody now. I get it. You and I have a common understanding on the masks. We wear right. a damn mask when we're outside. Right. And, and in the public. And it's just, it's the smart thing to do because science. Right. Not because my beliefs, because science. And that's it. Sociology is science. Yes. True. It's a soft science, but it's still it's science. A soft science. Right. And, and the whole, and the whole new science fucking point of yeah, it is relatively new science, but the whole fucking point of it is to be able to look at society and go, what are we fucking up? <laughs> Right. Absolutely. I'm just saying, I I think I'm thinking of it in terms of a more granular thing in that in to in today's day and age, especially with, you know, the the turmoil that's going on in the U.S. or has been going on throughout the whole of 2020. Sure. Right. It's been a lot of back and forth and back and forth. And it's been so politically driven, even when it's things that 
I mean, that could be thought of as in terms of a morality standpoint. Like we're we're talking about Black Lives Matter. Why why does it have to be uh, with the uh, you know what the NFL and uh, Colin Kaepernick for years? They're on this man, and people are still on this man. Why kneeling in disrespect of the flag? Nowhere in his position from day one had it said anything. About the flag. Right. It's about a social issue. Sure. It doesn't have to be about disrespect for the flag. Right. But people make it about that. Well, Why? Because Why? they don't have anything because to stand on. Because it's valid. Right. They have something to stand on, but they're afraid to say it out loud. Right. So instead they use politics. Sure. That's what I'm getting okay. at. There's too many of those situations. Okay. okay. And I feel like in terms of those situations, there should, there can and should be. A differentiation there. There should be a, a separation there of sociology and and p- politics because if you're talking about sociology, you're talking about not necessarily I should do this because the written law says so, but I should do this thing because I don't want my society to fail. It's like an internal responsibility that could be governed with laws right but also could just be governed by a will to further something right Right. like a a will to not be destructive right and i feel like in that instance if someone wants to say i don't like this black guy talking about or, or kneeling during the national anthem and calling attention to a situation that I may or may not, you know, think is bad. Right. Right. Instead of saying that, you're going to say, oh, he's disrespecting the flag. But if we could get past. So here to summarize with the NFL thing, I feel like if we could have taken the politics out of it and, and just listened to each other and realized the politics here doesn't matter. The sociology of it does. The social aspect matters. This is not about the flag. It doesn't have to be political. We could have been done with this situation. We could have started reform forever ago, right? But it came from the sociology devoid of the politics. You have the sociology not cluttered by the politics. Because especially okay. in our country, politics have okay. cluttered more so, things than they've helped. So we, we, we need to understand with this situation when we're talking about this, what we're talking about is ultimately when you've separated sociology from politics, right? What you're talking about is sociology is a school of thought trying to analyze society without the political system coming in and telling them no. That's what you seem to be talking about. I would call that maybe bad faith politics, right? Um, I mean, yeah, when people don't have faith in their system. Right. Okay. What, what, I, would, what I would ideally like to when see, politics what, I think, go bad. What, I think is, what I think is the situation that is like the ideal way that this should work, right, is society goes and looks, or sociology goes and looks at society and studies everything, including the political system, right? right. Because, okay, and then the, and then the sociologist comes up, come up with some degree of analysis of saying this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. These kinds of laws would fix that, right? And then the political system takes that information and goes, okay, how do we make that work? Exactly. Right. That is exactly the, that would be. So, so you have political so, is part of sociology, right? Well, it, so, sociology is, is the, is the analysis and then the politics, which are part of the thing being analyzed, then turns around and says, okay, you've given us an analysis. Now let's make that actionable. Yeah, the politics of the implementation. Right. right exactly. So. I think what the issue is there is that you've got um, a lot of people with a lot of power in the state who want to do it the way that you're talking about it in terms of what you're just saying, trying to get out of right. right? Is you've got the state trying to dictate what the social norms are Mm -hmm. or, or trying to dictate what the, what the analysis should be, right? They're trying to give their own analysis and the politics is not the, the, the school of thought that should be doing the analysis. The sociology does the analysis. The politics takes that analysis and fixes shit. Right. That's what should be happening. Right. That's what and should what's be not happening. happening is the politics is like, no, forget the sociology's analysis. You, what, 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 what you're actually talking about is politics trying to Shanghai the whole thing. Exactly. Right. It's trying politics to be the, so, is trying to become it's, bigger. It's trying to be the sociology exactly. and the and the, the, the application. Right. It's trying to be the theory and the action. 
right by itself and let's be real that's fucking dangerous that's dangerous and dumb right <laughs> it's it's just that that right there is over time i would go ahead and say that is worse than unstructured that we were discussing before <laughs> right 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 cuz uh, over time all all it is and you can see it now if you look hard enough you can see it now it, honestly, especially not, when all of the people occupying those positions are sociopaths mm-hmm. <laughs> But I think even it, you don't even need to look at that hard at it now. You see evidence of it all over the place. It's about power. Sure. The, there, there's a lot of, you know, and it's, it's not just here in the U.S. either. It, there's a lot of places around the entire world where I, I would venture to say that there is at least one person in every country in the world that is concerned about their political system. You know, and, and in a lot of cases, there's a whole lot more. <laughs> right. Like, in right. our country, it's almost 50-50, but... <laughs> I think it's actually more than 50. It could be, I'm pretty yeah, sure, like, it you could have be 60, a majority 40, 70, 30. of people who think that the political system in this country is really, 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 really broken. That, and I think that's the vast majority of the country, and, right? And, it, the, the issue is, is now how do we, as the people who are, who are dealing with that, right? Us, the people. We are the people that are dealing with this, the consequences yep. of this. Right. The state has already begun doing its thing and started moving it the way it's moving on this right. one. How do we as the people have this conversation and repoliticize the things within the context of not the state? <laughs> we have a discussion about sociology. Sure. Without politics. We figure out what is good for society as a whole, removing political bias because political bias pol- politics trying to become big boy at the table is the problem so if you go back to the analysis right without making the predetermined claims that politics need sure right politics need predetermined politics need predetermined variables if i'm getting sure scientific about it they need predetermined variables in order right. to implement so right so if that's the way that works, you take that power away from politics right. and go, no, 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 you have a job to do. And right. it's not this. It's not so this. right. At right. this point, I feel like people need to stop bickering about Republican v. Democrat. I, I don't want to hear this anymore when we should be just discussing a social issue without that political bias and i feel like your point is with with no you can't no you can't it's almost like that and i well, think if we don't stop it soon okay or figure out a way to stop it soon it's really going to be impossible here's 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 what i think is happening here okay i think the definition wobble i don't know if you're familiar with that concept i am not give me a quick okay. one quick version of de- definition wobble is that when i say a word like capitalism let me just say just that word right, right. that means a bunch of different things to a bunch of different people and they're all yeah. using it differently of course and when they're talking at each other about it yeah they are way talking past each other because the that one because word the interpretation is different doesn't sync up right and just that one word in the conversation breaks everything okay. now, now imagine that with every word that's in there gotcha right? okay so with the definition wobble, I think what you're saying is, is you can do sociology without politics because we've lived with politics being the ones doing the sociology for so long that you're imagining sociology without politics as in like sociologists actually get to call the shots instead of politicians. No, I'm thinking not necessarily that sociologists get to call the shots. Because then if, if well, you're talking no, about, well, okay, hang on, hang on, time out, back up that, that framing or that phrasing was bad. I'll okay. Give you one so, more. <laughs> okay. So instead of, pol- instead of politics, trying to be theory and action, you're saying, let the sociology, the one that's actually supposed to be the sociology, do the theory without the politics doing the theory. I am not talking about what we should be doing in terms of passing the buck of leadership. I'm talking about um individuals sure 
very granular level. Sure. Person to person. Sure. On Facebook. Yeah. Having a discussion. Absolutely. About something. About Black Lives Matter. Right. Right. Okay. If you could have a discussion, and I have done this, I've had right. discussions with people, with, with Trumpers, sure. right? Full out right. Trumpers, hate the, the kneeling, want everybody fired, all that crap. Right. Right. I've had discussions with people like that where you've actually break down walls a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. When you get past the, this the whole team sport aspect. Hey, no. <laughs> when you get past the whole not about the flag thing. When you have an understanding of the actual situation right. and get past my political beliefs right. versus yours, when you get rid of, we disagree on this, 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 and this, none of right. that matters. Right. This one situation right. happened this way, sure, and it's something we can agree on and then discuss. Right. When you get past the, the political aspect of that situation, it's much easier to find common ground. Right. And that's right. where I'm at with okay. it. I feel like okay. we as people need to do a better job of keeping our politics in check. Right. Because our politicians are doing that because we aren't. Right. Because we aren't in the the because we're not in the shit doing that job. We're allowing our politicians to do it for us. Right. And that's the problem. Okay. Because okay. we are spending our time chasing Red versus blue. Right. Right. Instead of paying attention sports. to the issue. Right. And focusing right. on okay. how we fix that and then telling red and blue. Right. To do their fucking jobs. Right. And here's what I'm saying. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm 100% with you on all of that. Right. And what I'm saying is that at, at a certain point. Socio without politics. Right. But at a certain point, in order to do that socio well. You have to include the politics in the analysis. And I'm not saying in terms of the politics are able to dictate the analysis. I'm saying the politics are the subject of the analysis. Sure. Right. Um, and at that point, in order to do it well, in order to do sociology well, even as two dudes talking to each other in a basement that has an orange painted room. Right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> right even at that level in order to do that discussion justice once we find the common ground and we say yes we both agree on this thing as the thing that is the problem and we also agree that there's a degree of yes this needs to be fixed and then we go into okay how to fix it right and once we go into the how to the fix it, we're talking, we're now looking at the political system itself and 100%. we have to see what the political system itself is doing. Of course. Right. So then the, the politics becomes part of the analysis. Absolutely. And that's where my, my whole take on no comes from. Right. right. That these things have to be intertwined in the sense of in order to do sociological analysis well, it has to include an analysis of politics, not the top politics calling the shots. Yes, absolutely. 100 percent agree with you. How? Ever. The question is, can you socio without politics? Not well. Should I keep saying socio? Does that still work? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Not well. No. Not well. We've discussed this not ad well. nauseum so far. Yeah. I don't know if ad nauseum. Maybe not so much. Beep. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> right. But the question is, can you socio without politics? There has to be a period in order for the system to work. There has to be. Not even can there be, there must be a discussion of sociology without politics, first and foremost. So not, yeah, not, not even can you socio without politics. You must socio okay. without politics to build the base, the foundation with which to discuss the politics moving forward, right? That's you fair. don't build a bridge or a building without a foundation right? That's that fair. is socio without politics. <laughs> this motherfucker's like, acting like he's swishing a shot. No, no, no. This motherfucker is acting like he just swished I the mean, shot. If you no, want, no, 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 no. Say it. I will say, say it. it. <laughs> I will say it. Here's what I'm about to say. If I want to do a half-assed right analysis. Yes. No, 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 no. It's part of the it, analysis. It is, right, right. But that's what. It's, but that's what I'm saying. Is you're taking this very specific moment of the analysis of the complete analysis. And saying, this is a portion where you don't have politics. And then you 
but but at, the, at that point you have to move forward of reintroducing the political at which point if you don't reintroduce the political you have literally done the half-assed analysis i asked a question <laughs> and you gave a hard answer it is up to you to say yes you can but it doesn't work you said no no <laughs> no <laughs> I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. The answer to the question is yes, you can socio without politics. You must. For a phase. For a phase, yes. But that is not but the that end phase, all be all. Right. But that phase is. I mean, I can accept that. That's, that's, that's so that's the to answer me. to the question can you socio without politics is. If, if you're being. Is, wait, I, okay. If you're absolutely wait, trying wait. to be political and play with the definition wobble to get the answer you want, yes. I'm not playing with definition wobble. <laughs> you're absolutely playing with definition not wobble. Not true. In order to make something happen, right, the foundation comes first. Sure. Correct? Yeah. So, by definition, the building block does not include. Phase one does not include politics. So, if, if politics don't come into stage two, there's no definition wobble. In order to do this thing, you must have socio without politics. And the question is, that we started with, the question I asked you, is can you socio without politics? It's the answer to that question with, with no definition wobble <laughs> is, if I said one word answer. Here's the stipulation. You must give one word, yes or no, to this question. Can you socio without politics, yes or no? Define socio. Is it a half of the theory or the full theory? Can you, is it half of the theory or the full theory? Can you discuss sociology without politics? Not as a full theory, not as a complete no, no, theory. No, no. Can you discuss? It, there, there is no full theory. You don't have to take it from start to finish. There's no, there's no line of, <laughs> or, or, the, or meter with which we're discussing a subject. If I'm discussing this portion of a subject, there's not an inherent, like if we start talking about uh, Saddam Hussein, we don't have to discuss all of Desert Storm, right? Or all of his life. There's not some inherent thing where when we start discussing him, we are now discussing all of him until we're done. That's not how this works. Can you, yes or no, can you discuss sociology without politics? Yes or no? For a limited phase of sociology, <laughs> yes. Yes. For a limited phase of sociology, with a, yes. With a whole bunch of caveat. But yes, that's fine. With a limited phase. Yep, that's fine. And the point I'm trying to get at with it is... Like I said, I feel like we need to be doing more of that. I think we need to... It's so easy. So easy. Because I think politics makes it so easy. Where every single thing can be discussed. We... What was that, uh, that hate comment we had? Where, where someone, uh, someone told us on our video that we must be QAnon supporters. Or oh, believe yeah, that yeah, QAnon yeah, yeah, was yeah. real. Like, I believe what, QAnon was real. I forgot... Real. He, he put up something, some sort of hate comment. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> this will be great. But great. It's, a, it's a prime example. Okay. And, and, and that, that to me, like the way that I would describe that is that you're removing the team sports element of politics from the discussion. Right? Because like... Because it's not useful? It's not. It, well, it's absolutely not useful. <laughs> it's it's it, absolutely not useful. <laughs> Um, but that to me isn't politics. That's misuse of power, right? Like that is, that is a person who's been propagandized to behave a certain way to support their team acting in the way that they've been propagandized to support it. Right. Of course. But without, right? they're using the talking points, but without that particular system, but there's no sociology in that at all is what I'm saying. Power right. struggle isn't part of sociology. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, is that when, when you have people that are, you know, using the talking points that have been handed down to them, there is no sociology happening there, right? They haven't done any analysis on that. They're just taking the team's mantra and putting it out there. There's no, there's no analysis that's been done. 
So what you're talking about in terms of like taking the politics out of the phase is you're talking about just actually doing sociology, <laughs> right? Instead of yeah. doing po- instead of doing just pop uh, pop political messaging. Yeah, you're you're leaving the impl- implementation where it belongs, right? Because the implementation is where the corruption begins, right? And that's the problem. I feel like people are so consumed with the team sports aspect that it's getting in the way of the sociology. Yes. We're, it, we're forgetting. There, there isn't any sociology and that's what, but there has to be right. But that's there's what, moral right, right. Or, or, or if, if you're talking about growth of a society, there's gotta be more than just politics in order to make the society grow. Everybody's got to kind of be on board. Right. 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 Cause if not one person could burn the whole thing but to the see, ground. And, and this is, this is, I think where we're getting into the definition wobble issue is when you're saying politics, you're thinking of like the team sports power struggle, political messaging aspect. Right. And I'm thinking of it in terms of what the actual policy itself is. Right. I am looking at the crafting of the actual legislation as politics. That's the, that's the thing that I'm thinking of when I am, when I am, when I am envisioning the word politics and you're talking to, can you do socio without political? the actual policy the crafting of the policy is the thing that i'm that i'm talking about is you have to have that there whether it's the policy that already exists or the policy you would like to make you would have to have that as part of the analysis at every stage right with the team sports messaging power struggle stuff you don't need to have that involved at any point <laughs> right but that's not that's not politics to me that's politicking if that kind of makes sense no that's politicking is part of politics it is it is it is right it's 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 literally in the name (laughs) right 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 but it's not but it's 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 the kissing babies and shaking hands part of politics not the actual crafting of the thing that is going to dictate sure how the society functions sure right and and to me when i'm saying the when i'm talking about politics as the dictating as law as legislation as policy right those are the things that are really the thing that really matters about politics. The rest of it is the shell game right. that gets you to support this or that politician. Right. Right. And, and that's where the corruption and that's where lies. the corruption lies. Right. And I'm I don't give a fuck about the shell game. We can uh, the, the what I'm what I'm saying, which might work in your answer for using your definition of politics. Right. The shell game should not abs- should absolutely not be a part of the discussion at all ever honestly it and that's be. And, and that and that to me is is where i think we might find a little bit of common ground on this one is splitting apart politics into policy itself versus the the shell game right? sure um and i would 100 percent agree with you as if we're defining politics as the shell game and kind of leaving the policy as this nebulous other thing or, or not the focus of the definition. Sure. Um, then yes, we absolutely can and must remove. I agree with you yeah. with that. We absolutely can and must remove politics, quote unquote, from the discussion in that sense. But when we're talking about the policy, that to me should be part of the analysis at every level. Yeah. And at that point, that aspect of politics, if we're using that definition or a perception of politics then it absolutely must be part of every level of analysis. Sure. If we're using the dictionary definition, the what it should be, right, in its purest form, politics should be part of every discussion. But yeah, if you're talking about the the actual implementation and and more probably the people implementing it, not probably, more the people and implementing it, I mean, yeah, that's that's the shit that's that's really getting in the way. Right. Right. But I feel like the way we can kind of curb that, because I, I, I am not one of those people that believes that every single politician is, is dirty. I got to believe there are some people out there doing the job that actually care. And I feel like the way we weed them out, at least with, without having a, you know, a foolproof plan, right? Uh, step one to step, you know, million. I feel like step one, the discussion should begin with sociological and removing the politics specifically because in the climate we have right now, 
in the sociological climate we have right now, politics as shell game. You cannot, you you can't separate politics from the shell game, right? Because the fucking right. Because the turtle <laughs> has done all of the mangling. No, right. Don't. Boop. Uh, uh. We'll I wish see. I could, but I'm not going to attack we'll one see. specific. <laughs> we'll see, because I'm with you on that one. All right. Um. The, the point I'm trying to get at, in this climate, the way things have gone, the way things have turned, you can't separate the shell game from the dictionary definition anymore. And I think the way we begin to separate the shell game from the politic, the, from the delish, de- definition of political science, uh-huh. right? The way we get back to the political science is to begin sociology again without that discussion. And, and that is to say that when you get into an argument with somebody on Facebook, say what you mean instead of immediately jumping to this because red, this because blue. Okay. Right. Like, when you have a discussion with somebody on Facebook and you're talking about climate change, Right. I don't want to see let me drill oil and let me destroy the planet if I want to, because the sky looks better in red than blue because own libs. (laughs) Right. That's the I that doesn't help us grow. That doesn't help us get any better. That doesn't solve or discuss the issue, a serious issue in a serious light. Right. You're not taking the. You're not taking the issue seriously at that point. At that point, you are playing the shell game. Right. You're being a team player. Right. But you're not solving the problem. And right. we should be working on the same team to solve the fucking problem. Right. We're, we're not supposed to be fighting each other. We're supposed right. to be fighting. Okay. So there's a lot of things to unpack with that. Right. In terms of like this rant that you went on and I didn't stop you. I, I did kind of <laughs> just go and I, I apologize for hijacking the um, mic on that one. Okay. So point one, we're talking about not being able to separate the politics from the, the politicking, right? Or the, the, the science from the shell game, right? Um, we've, we've got that as a, a, a thing to unpack, right? And one of the things that creates that situation is the media and the way the media reports on politics in this country. It's part of the politics. It's part of the politics. Also, a lot of the factors involved in that is the money. Of course. The people who have the money. Part of the politics. Part of the politics. Right. The shell game. Right. Right. Um, the, 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 the whole, their motivation is to keep us on the shell game. That's yeah. part of the situation. Right. If right? we're fighting each other, if we're not fighting they want They want us fighting on the level of those team sports, because if we actually start talking to each other as human beings, then... We might end up doing something very subversive. Um, exactly. Deviants welcome. Deviants welcome. Um, so piggybacking off of the climate change, right? Um, there are people that honestly believe that climate change isn't even happening, or at least isn't caused by anything we as humans are doing. Right. Right. And but we have evidence of that. We right. But that's what I'm getting at is like it's we real. have we it's have happened. we have we have facts. We, we have the media <laughs> and we have those moneyed interests that are, that rely on continuing to fuck the environment to continue to make profit. Yeah. Right. We have those things exist that are creating this messaging. Right. That is what we have to fight against on this whole front is we have to get people who have been duped into thinking that climate change isn't even happening. <laughs> right and, and 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 try to engage with them on a human level right there and are that's facts. but they don't care they <laughs> they're, don't they're there i know you can say facts they're don't care available. about your feelings to them all, all the, the time you can find <laughs> them any google facts about climate change they're there <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they I'm, live on the internet. I'm not. I'm not saying the. I, I don't have anything to argue with you about this on or debate or whatever because, like, yeah, it's happening. You can fucking see it happening. This it's it's already started to happen in the world, right? Like we're living in COVID year two now. Two. We're starting year COVID two. year two, right? 
Ugh. for something that was gone within six months everywhere else, or in the in the places where it first popped off. Right. I I year two year two of COVID, where you're now talking about basically like a structural failing on a massive scale. Massive, <laughs> massive. We're still feeling it. Right. And and I year I, two. I honestly I honestly believe that COVID is a, an a, a thing that emerged because of climate change, right? Like, like one of the frozen diseases that I, 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 I won't necessarily go that far to say that it's one of the frozen is that, diseases is that what we're doing. Okay. I'm not going to go that far. Right. I'm not going to draw that line in the sand because I'm pretty sure there's evidence against that one in particular. OK. Right. Um, but that the changing conditions of the world is part of what created the mutation that allowed uh, COVID to, okay. to, to, to flourish. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, domino effect domino effect sure <laughs> um butterfly effect whatever butterfly effect i think would be um, would be more accurate um sorry no, i'm do, not i don't uh, have i'm I don't checking have, my son i don't um, have any evidence for that whatsoever but um you know when you have things that are already evidence that aren't as in your face for a lot of people right. that they're just like looking at that and going no it's not real yeah. even in the face of that um, you know, I suppose I just don't feel bad about like kind of throwing a speculation out there that COVID is a result of that and having, having it be like, look, really, this is something that's more in your face, but I guess that doesn't matter because then there's people that also believe COVID isn't real and then don't wear masks. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that is a, that is a, a topic in and of itself. Cause right. man, I c you know what? That's a rant. Right there. Right. That is a I mean, rant. There's there's so many rants that we've got coming out of this, I think, that uh, yeah. strap in because you're just going to have to put up with our bullshit. <laughs> yep. You know what really grinds my gears? You know what really grinds my gears? That was my terrible, terrible. I'm much better at Stewie than yeah. Peter. <laughs> How about you just uh, give us an outro, John? So, Sel, mm -hmm. one word, yes or no, amidst all of the scope of everything we have discussed i'm going to ask you this one question yes or no can you it doesn't need to be done well <laughs> no it, does. it doesn't it, it does okay <laughs> it for does. the purposes of this question okay the efficiency doesn't matter can you discuss sociology without politics yes or no no because your entire thing this whole time has really been can we discuss sociology with sociology instead of politics that's really what 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 you've been arguing for this whole time honestly and, I, and i'm not meaning that as like a dig or anything like that right like Sounds i just like a dig I, i'm just saying that like in terms of what your argument has basically fundamentally come down to is can you can you have a discussion about sociology without politics leading that discussion and i think you can and i think you should but, but so you can but, but but what i'm saying is is like it's it's reintroducing sociology to sociology instead of it just being politics right but it can be done I, I, and that is the question can it be done can you reintroduce sociology to politics yes that's what I'm, that's yes. essentially what you're saying can you reintroduce sociology to the politics? question yes. is can it be done can it be done if that sociology is discussed without politics? Can it shots. be done? Can it be done? In your definition of politics, yes. I'll give you that Thank one. Thank you. Fine. In, your, in the way that you're using your definition of politics, yes, it can and should. He's, he's making the, the thing. <laughs> I am eye rolling so he's hard. He's so hard right now. He's, he's, uh, my eyes are so far so in the back mad. of my skull. He's so mad. But it, it really is what it is, because oh, right. in this case, right. in this case, and, and even if you want to go so far as to say, you know, dictionary definition versus shell game, right? Right. But without the dictionary definition, you don't have the shell game. The shell game 
is still part of politics. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, so it absolutely is. So and I'm not saying. And, so it's still part of it, regardless. Sure, 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 sure. So sure. you you don't get to to purify the definition <laughs> to to make the point. That's disingenuous, isn't it? Um, yes or no? I, isn't I, it? If we're talking, if A then B, <laughs> if A then B, in the sense of because I am insisting on sociology being complete theory, I will grant you that shell game as part of politics is part of the complete theory so if we are using as it, it is like if we are using <laughs> that construct that we have agreed upon sure can you talk about sociology without politics yes or no there is a portion no <laughs> <laughs> there is a portion of the venn diagram between sociology and politics where there should not be overlap yes there is a uh there is a, a lot of breath wasted right there. Like you used at least eight words with, I don't know, 20 syllables when you could have used one word with one syllable, but there's that's a, fine. There's you know a what? portion of the Venn that's... diagram. <laughs> there is a portion of the Venn diagram where <laughs> I, is Venn diagram two words. I count. I guess it, it is two. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but you only got that far, and it was like 10 words. Yeah. Like, really? The answer is yes. <laughs> you can roll your eyes all you want, but give me the answer. Okay, so when I'm, no. when I'm imagining the <laughs> oh Venn God. diagram, no, when I'm imagining the Venn words. diagram, I've got this is how, this the is sociology how diagram. Is. He will give you 50 goddamn words. And I've just got, so he doesn't have I've to got, give you the one word and that got, you actually want to hear. And it's got, by far the and, most ridiculous thing. And I've got the, pol the political circle, uh, right? And like, there's the political good stuff that I'm talking about. I would that like should for us absolutely to, we, be, we know what a Venn diagram is. Right, but that, 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 the political stuff that I like should I absolutely <laughs> yep I said it that way um, there it was the political stuff that isn't the the, the 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 shaking babies and kissing hands right um that part is the part of the Venn diagram of politics that should not be within within sociology For at sure. all right 100% and on, that gr on those grounds I will say yes but then there's the portion that is involved and we can't not focus on that part. Too. But at the moment, sure, we need to delay the there's, groundwork. There's no separation. We need to lay the right? groundwork. Right. So it is. It is both. There is no separation. So you're you're making up a deviation specifically <laughs> so that you don't have to answer the question. Deviants welcome. Right. Deviants welcome. What a guy. Sure. It's ridiculous. There we go. I'll edit that out. I didn't know what you were trying to set me up for. You're just pointing at me, and I'm like, I don't know. You said deviant, and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's there. But <laughs> so you created a deviation specifically so that you didn't have to answer the question the way you know it to be true. Well, see, the framing of your question is is this is a question we discussed. I understand, but like predetermined the, question. The way that you're the way that you're describing he had this question for a week. The way that you're describing this is like can you make a circle into a Venn diagram? Is kind of what's happening right now because like the way that you're describing politics is kind of like right now the Venn diagram of sociology and politics is a circle. There is no area of disconnect. Right. And can we make it a Venn diagram? Absolutely. We can and should. So, yes. Absolutely. We can and should. Yes. Sure. <laughs> okay. So five words instead of just the one. How many syllables? I don't know. I'm absolutely not counting. Absolutely. We can and should. I don't know. It's a, Eight it's syllables? a fucking haiku, bro. That's not a haiku. It's not a haiku. That's not a haiku. <laughs> Swing it. You're just making it worse. <laughs> the only reason you're going to save face here is because you edit the podcast. I mean, yeah. <laughs> All of this good stuff is going to be cut out because I mean, it's going to be. It's fine. That's fine. He and I all know. Right. Sure. Right. Sure. <laughs> Give well, us an outro, John. Well, people. That is our episode today. We hope you learned a lot. I certainly had a good time. How'd you, uh, how'd you enjoy the pod today, Sal? Oh, it was fantastic. It's one of my favorite kind of subjects. Yeah, very true. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Be sure to hit us up at all the various social medias 
We have Facebook, Twitter, IG coming soon, probably. Uh, make yeah, sure you hit to... us up. Let us know what uh, what you think of the podcast. What more you want to see? Uh, Here. Thank you very, very much for listening, and we'll see you guys next week. Say say what say, you want to hear, huh? Say say what you want to hear for me. Why? So that it's what you want to hear instead of what you want to see. Podcast, bro. Gotcha. <laughs> I'll leave Shut all. Up. Of, I'll, I'll leave. I'll leave Shut in up. all of your owns of me in if we can leave in this this conversation right here. For sure. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're right. I'm sorry. I fucked that up. <laughs> let me let me try this again. Are right, you gonna stop laughing? <laughs> Fuck. And make sure you hit us up. On our various social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, soon to be IG, so you can let us know what uh, what more you want to hear from us. And uh, I think that's about it. Y'all, we'll see you next week. Say bye to the people, Sal. Bye the people.